hello everyone this is Rohit and welcome back my youtube channel salesperson so today I'm going to show you how to apply custom font in LWC right so if you have like uh, any component in LWC and try to any another fonts so you can use like custom fonts so the extension of the custom fonts is .ttf right so if you are new in this channel so I request you please subscribe my youtube channel and watch this video until end if you want to learn something new so let's get started without any further delay so now here I just created one LWC component so we have to remember some few things before implementation these things right so now let me show you the prerequisites so you have to download fonts any website as you have like google fonts or something like that right so based on your requirement you can download external fonts and uh, use that external fonts inside your salesforce or in static resource so let me show you the static resource so under here and un static resource right so i already add like assets so under the assets folder we have another assets folder right under this one we have you know lots of fonts so how to show this fonts let me show you one by one right with practical so here I already added this static resource in my org now I want to use this static resource inside my LWC and then we will see the font size or you know like font style is should be changed or not so now here under the VS code right so once you added or once you uploaded static resource into your org just you have to do one thing under the org browser just come down and search static resource so under the static resource you will be see this kind of fonts so let me show you here like static resource just refresh it and now you can see the assets right so once you click on this assets and just you have to retrieve from the org I already retrieved right so let me show you in my uh, folder structure so under here static resource you will be see somewhere this one static resource under the static resource you can see my folder that is called assets under the assets we have four types of fonts like dot ttdf right in your case it may be like one fonts or maybe a hundred of fonts so based on your requirement you can add it in this folder and use it anywhere as you want right so now let me show you how to use it right so first of all you have to create one LWC component so I already created so now just you have to do one thing now so under the JS file no need worry about like any code for these fonts right under the JS file just you have to add some you know markup inside this HTML file and once you've done this markup so I already added one HTML heading so here you can see the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog so this is the sentence and I want to apply some you know fonts on this uh, heading so how to apply let me show you there so under this component you have to create another file that is called custom font oh, it can be anything but uh, extension should be dot CSS right so once you added this CSS file now you have to do one thing you can use like at the rate font hyphen face so this is the property under the CSS if you want to use any kind of like fonts or uh, external fonts or internal fonts so just you can write this tag of property and under this property we have like font family it can be anything in my case I'm using custom fonts and then SRC URL and this is coming from your static resource just keep in your mind this is the path and you have to add it in the src url uh, property and after that you have to give the format true type so because here you can see the extension ddf so that's why i'm using format true type right so once you've done this static resource uh, custom fonts so how to use that so right now i'm using h1 means heading in my html you can see this h1 right under css you can see this one like h1 and then uh, font size 2 rem and font family custom fonts so i'm not using any standard you know uh, uh, font family here i'm using my custom uh, fonts 
inside this font family you know property so how to use that so let me show you so first of all let me comment this CSS and let me show you the output now so let me deploy this component and after that you will be see the default fonts in the Salesforce so let me open my org now here in the home let me refresh this page and now you can see the default style and you know text is, is style and everything you can see the Salesforce side so we didn't the added any kind of you know styling right now so how to add our custom fonts of this you know the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog this kind of sentences right so let me show you that one so first of all you have to do one thing just you can uh, you can add your markup or uh, like h1 is the tag in the HTML or it can be class or it can be ID based on your requirement but uh, ID is not supported in you know LWC this is the best practice so don't we use ID anywhere in this LWC uh, framework so just you can use tag or class name so just let me remove it save it and again let me deploy this component so once you deploy it you will be see the some styling changes under the text so right now here you can see this is the normal text default text of the you know Salesforce given by Salesforce so just refresh it and once you refresh it now you can see immediately it's changed the uh, like font style font family right so here you can see it's an automatic change so how to identify this is uh, standard or custom just right click on this text click on this inspect element and once you inspect it now you can see here just come down somewhere you will be see like custom here you can see the custom font family custom okay so because of we already added custom that's why you can see font family if you remove it like let's say this one you can see default if you want to remove it, this font size also you can see the default one right so you can add it based on your requirement so let me refresh it again and let me show you the this is the first font fonts right so let me add another font so suppose that right now I'm using this fonts fonts let me add another fonts inside you know this file so let's say the second font this one so how to add it just let me rename this one just copy this name and paste in your CSS and here to here you have to remove it like this and after that you have to save it and you have to deploy and once you deploy it immediately you will be see the changes in your you know phone family so just refresh this component and now you can see immediately change different types of style phone style now you can see the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog is different kind of fonts right if you want to change another fonts same thing you can add it in your static resource and you can use it so let me add another fonts here let's say third fonts right so let me copy this font name and uh, here just copy and paste in your CSS file here to here right let's say this one and just save it and let me deploy this component and you will be see different kinds of output and here just let me refresh it again and you can see different kinds of font family so guys I hope you learned something new in this video if you like this video please share subscribe and like comments on this video and please share with your friends and colleagues for more updates and uh, Till then, bye-bye, take care, see ya. Thank you. Thank you for watching.